Hi, I'm Bob Cruz, founder and president of Checkpoint Technologies. I want to personally thank you for taking time to view our informative HP software demonstration video. Our engineers and I are practitioners in the area of software quality assurance and testing. We understand the complexities and myriad of challenges businesses face delivering high quality and superior performance software applications, and we take pride in helping them get the most from their software solutions. As an authorized HP software support and training partner, we have deep expertise in the HP application lifecycle management software solutions, which is why HP chose us to develop their software engineer certification exams. We can help you and your organization optimize technology, which in turn will help save your company time, money, and a lot of effort. I certainly hope you enjoyed the demonstration, and please take a few moments to put together any questions you may have and contact us. You'll see our contact information clearly displayed. We look forward to assisting you. Checkpoint Technologies is software quality assured. Hi, my name is Patrick McCartney. I'm a Solutions Architect Manager at Checkpoint Technologies. I've been working with HP Software Solutions for over eight years and have certifications in HP ALM, HP's Unified Functional Testing, as well as certifications from industry-leading software testing organizations. Today I'm going to be demonstrating to you HP's Performance Center. So quickly, a few notes on Performance Center. Performance Center is the enterprise version of a load runner. So it actually uses a lot of the load runner technology to power load generation. So <clears throat> it's going to use things like the virtue user generator, um, the analysis tools, and even some of the same load generation technology um, it shares with LoadRunner. It also shares a lot of the same functionality with HP's application lifecycle management tool. So much, in fact, that we're going to spend a lot of time today looking at ALM. <clears throat> so I would encourage you, if you're interested in Performance Center, watch the demonstration videos for the HP LoadRunner and HP ALM because both of these tools are complementary to what Performance Center gives you. And actually a lot of the functionality that we find in those tools is actually um, present in Performance Center as well. So with that, let's jump into Performance Center. The first step in any performance testing project is going to be creating the performance scripts. So we're actually going to use the same virtual user generator software that we use in LoadRunner to create the scripts. I'm not going to go through the process of showing you the script creation process because that is already um, been covered in our LoadRunner demo. So <clears throat> the only difference that we have when we're using Performance Center as opposed to using LoadRunner is in Performance Center what we need to do is connect it into our ALM server. So I'll go into the virtual user generator, log into my ALM server. So I just put in my server address, put in my username and password, connect into a project. And this is a project that needs to be enabled to have the Performance Center enabled. Once I'm in ALM, I can then open and modify and create scripts that are saved in the ALM test plan. So I've got a script already created. I'll open this script up. This is a web click and script script. Um, so it's going to be just your, your standard script. Um, again, we record this and work with this in uh, in the virtual user generator the same way we would with LoadRunner. So if you have a LoadRunner script, you can use it in Performance Center. So I've got my script. <clears throat> I can save that in ALM the same way I would save it um, on a local machine. Once I save that script in ALM, I'm going to have the script listed in the test plan module. So this is where Performance Center and ALM are really one and the same. So <clears throat> Performance Center leverages the ALM platform for things like requirements management, test management, defect management, and a lot of those features are, are covered in more detail in the ALM demonstration video. What we're going to be focusing on are the unique pieces of Performance Center that allow it to execute and create performance tests. So in our test plan module is where we're storing our scripts. <clears throat> we have right here a script. And here's my, my test script. In this one, if we look at it, I can drill in and look at the script itself. Here's my script. So what I want to do from this is actually create a performance test. So a performance test is one or many scripts, and it's synonymous to the scenario in LoadRunner. So what we're going to do is we'll go in and create a new test. 
and we give it a name and we pick the test type. I'm going to pick performance test because this is a performance test. Say okay. Once we do that, <clears throat> we can go in and edit the test. Go to edit the test and it opens up the My Performance Center screen. So at this point, this is the same functionality that you get when you're using the LoadRunner controller software. It's just a web-based version of that. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to schedule a basic scenario by number. <clears throat> now what I'll do is in my test plan, I'm going to select this test and add it in to my load test. And I can add as many different tests as I'd like to in here. This works the exact same way as the load runner controller. So I can add additional scripts and I can set the number of virtual users for each script. And I can also do things like set rendezvous points. I can uh, identify which scripts are going to run on which load generator, etc. So I'm going to keep this at 10 virtual users. And I'm going to change the load generator distribution to manually assigned. When I do that, I'm going to go in and assign my load generators. So my load generators are always running. They're always available for me. And so Performance Center maintains that connection automatically. I'm going to go in and specifically say I want to use this load generator. I'm going to click Assign and then Close. So now I have this script set to load and run on a specific load generator. I can also go in and change the amount of time my test is going to run. So this is where I can set my, my scheduling as far as the load profile that I want to exert on the system. <clears throat> I'm going to say that the duration is actually going to be, we're going to run this for about a minute. Then I'll save this. So we're going to come back into this in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to take a look at this. Uh, actually, let me fix this real quick. Let me get all of my data in. We're going to come back and look at <clears throat> how we set up additional parameters around our load generation in a minute. So we've got our test saved. I'm going to close this. So now I come back out, and I have my test. So the test is the first piece that we want to set up. Now, one of the big differences between Performance Center and Load Runner is that in Performance Center, we're actually able to create monitoring profiles so we can create monitoring one time and use that many times over. So to create my monitoring profiles, I go into my test resources, and I just simply create a new resource. The resource type will be a monitoring profile. So I assign it a name, and then I go to the monitor's configuration. <clears throat> I'm going to add a new monitor. And from here, I'm going to get a list of all the different application types and server types I'm able to monitor directly with Performance Center. Keep in mind that just like LoadRunner, we're also able to use site scope monitoring for agentless monitoring of our application. So we're going to get a list of all the different monitoring types. I'm just going to choose Windows resources. But as you can see, the list is very much the same as what we get in LoadRunner. So we've got things like Unix resources, um, IIS server, Citrix server, SQL server, Oracle, etc. If I wanted to use SiteScope, I can use SiteScope to uh, connect in and do monitoring that way as well. I'm just going to use a standard Windows resource. So again, this is very much the same as the LoadRunner controller. I'm just going to put a server name, username and password. I can get the counters and find the, the counters and the particular pieces of information I want to pull into my monitoring profile. 
<clears throat> once I've found the monitors that I want to include, just add them into the selected counters. I'll save my monitoring profile. Once I've done that, I can now use this monitoring profile. So the advantage of using the monitoring profile in Performance Center is you can create one profile and use it for many tests over and over and over again. It doesn't live with the controller the way that it does in Load Runner. So basically I can create one profile for my application stack and I can use that over and over whenever I run my tests. I go back into my test plan. I'm gonna go in and edit my test. Bring up my editing screen again. And I can go in and assign a monitoring profile that I want to use. So for this test, I'll go in and choose my monitoring profile. And I can add as many monitoring profiles as I need to for my test to monitor my application under test. We can also define things like service level agreements. <clears throat> And we can also use things like topologies to automatically deploy site scope monitoring with my test. So we have a lot of additional features that we can use, very, very similar to Load Runner, except that it's more on an enterprise level and we're actually going to be able to run and schedule these tests hands-free. So let me go in, I'll save this test. I'll close this. At this point, I can begin to execute this test. So two ways to execute, I can either click run test from here or I can assemble a test set. I'm just gonna click run test. Pick my test set, say okay. At this point, <clears throat> it's going to prompt me to select a time slot. A time slot is basically a reservation on the hardware that it's going to run the test on. So this includes things like my load generators and my controllers. Controller is still a, a type of hardware that needs to be used, a piece of software that needs to be used inside of Performance Center. But instead of actually providing the ability to schedule and test and, and build the scenarios, the controller really just executes the test for us. It's really the brains behind the operation. So in this scenario, I'm just going to run this directly right now but I'm going to show you in a few minutes the way we have the capability of actually scheduling out tests. So <clears throat> I can change this to do collation and analyzation. So after the test runs, it's going to automatically run the collation and do the analysis for me. So when the test finishes, I'm going to have all my results. I'm going to go ahead and click run. When I do that, it's going to show me the uh, execution process of the test. So it's going to be launching the test. Once the test launches and starts running, we're going to then see the execution results in real time. So currently the test is running and the execution results are going to load. So this is the same information that you would see in HP Load Runner if you're using the controller software. So you're able to see information about the number of transactions that you have, number of virtual users running, the response time, and any of the resource graphs you may have selected. Keep in mind though, this is all web-based. So what we can do is we can set these tests up and anyone in the world can connect in, create and execute tests. You don't have to be co-located with the controller. You don't have to remote in the controller. It's just simply a web interface. So I can schedule tests and have them run whenever I want. So this test is almost finished running. and it's starting to stop the users. So at the one minute mark, it started to end the execution of the individual virtual users, and it's bringing them back down.
Okay, the test has ended. I'm gonna click close. So at this point, we see that it's collating our results. So it's actually using the data processor hardware to automatically collate the results for me. And this process can take um, a minute, can take a couple hours, depending on how big your test is, how much data you ran, and how many iterations of that test you ran. Once the, the data creation process is completed, it's going to return me back in to ALM. I can go to my test lab, and I'm going to open up a test that I had previously run. So we get the same results that we get in LoadRunner. So we get all of the raw results that we can use the analysis tool to do further analysis on. We also get the automatic HTML reports that the analysis tool will create for us. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these reports. So these reports are the exact same reports that we get with HP LoadRunner. And you actually even see the LoadRunner name right here. So we have things like our summary, running grocery users, the user summary, et cetera. So if you're interested in this type of information, I would urge you to, to look at our LoadRunner video because it's going to explain the analysis in a little bit more detail. <clears throat> is again, because Performance Center is just a big brother of LoadRunner, a lot of the same functionality exists. So we have all of our analysis done automatically for us on the server side. So again, this is all automatically done. I can set these tests up to execute automatically. So with that, let me show you the next piece of this, which is the time slot reservation. So when we go in to run a test, and I click, say, Run Test, it brings up the screen that's going to tell me when I, or ask me when I want to run a test. I can either create a new time slot or a new reservation to run it immediately, or I can run it at a certain time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into my time slots. The time slot screen is essentially a calendar, and it's going to show me all the different reservations on all the different performance center hardware. So these are things like your controller, data processor, and load generators. So if you have many people that are using performance center, you can have them scheduling their tests and using all of the same hardware. So if you have a pool of virtual user licenses, you get to use those licenses any way that you'd like. So <clears throat> we've got our different reservations here, and all of the reservations for all the hardware are going to be visible regardless of which performance center or ALM project you're in. So I can go in, create a new reservation, and say I want to reserve this for X number of hours. I can say this is going to be for a performance test, and I want to schedule this automatically. So I can go in, give it a name. I schedule how long I want this performance test to execute. And then I can add my load generators if I need to, or I can have them auto match. So I can add load generators into my test. And these load generators could exist anywhere in the world. So I can have as many load generators as I want anywhere that I want them. So I'm going to select that I want a particular test. It's going to calculate the availability based on the hardware that's available for me. I can also set to collate, collate and analyze, or do not analyze my results. Additionally, from Performance Center, if I could connect into a cloud system, I can automatically have my application under test environment provisioned for me before the test runs. So you can actually set this up to automatically configure to go and execute a test and provision the environment for it.
Okay, so now that I have my time slot set up, I can go ahead, submit the reservation. So now I've got a reserved time slot for a piece of hardware for a, for a test that I'm going to execute in the future. I can go ahead and go into my test lab, click run test, and I can select the reserve time slot. Once I reserve the time slot, the test can run automatically for me. So if I want to run the test at midnight, I can have Performance Center do that for me. I don't have to be here actually running the test. Using that same capability, what we can do is we can connect Performance Center into um, a build management server. So if we want a build management server to automatically build our software for us, and then run performance tests on each build after it creates the build, we can do that as well. So we go into our build verification module, and I can create a new build verification suite. When we do this, we pick the performance test that we want to run whenever the new build occurs. So we pick our performance test, We identify the host that we need to run. And then from the build verification side, we're going to connect the build verification suite into Performance Center. So this would be something like Hudson or Jenkins. Every time the build executes, it'll automatically deploy the build. And then we can have Performance Center automatically execute that test. In this way, we've got a fully automated build system where we're automatically going to have our test results given to us. And we can also use functional testing in this as well. So now that we have our performance tests stored in ALM or Performance Center, we're able to schedule these tests out, and we can have them run automatically based on a build verification server. I've also got a pure web-based interface to Performance Center that can be accessed on any browser. From here, I can see all the tests that are running. I can go in and schedule additional tests to run and get real-time views of what's happening in my tests. So I can see all of my currently running tests, anything I might have scheduled, the test execution results, things of that nature. This is all done through the My Performance Center portal. So with that, that concludes what I wanted to show you today for the Performance Center demonstration. If you'd like to know more about HP's Performance Center, please contact us at 813-818-8324 or visit our website at checkpointtech.com. Thank you.